Anth Anthony, what? What are you doing over there, bro? What's What's going on? What? You, you good? Just one bump, bro. Just one bump. Yes! So what are we doing today, AJ? All right, so today I'm going to be demonstrating proper dip and proper pull-up form. In my latest article about what I do, instead of, you know, the big three, like my deadlifts, my bench press and everything, um, I mentioned that dips and pull-ups are some of my staples. So when you're doing them, you want to make sure you're really using proper form, getting the most out of the workouts, and performing them so it's playing with this uh, Kindle thing, so you can avoid <laughs> injuries. So, um, yeah, I'll show you what I do. Depending on what you want to hit more, um, I use it for chest, so I go a little wide, but not, you know, not too wide. I don't want my elbows to play out too much, so you know, get a line, put yourself up. A lot of these have steps too. When you go down, you want to kind of keep everything you know, in line. So when you come down, about the way there, back up. So, the big thing is, you kind of want to keep your shoulders in the same line the whole time. Um, see how, if you take a line from where my shoulders start to where they end, it'd be pretty much a straight line. Another thing with your elbows, um, you want to keep them sort of tucked. You don't have to be all the way in, but you don't want them to be Even if you're doing chest, you want to keep them um, about, pretty much about here, kind of in line with what your thumb is. And then, you know, if you want to get your triceps more, you, know, you can get a little closer. Um, the one, I like the ones that have like, the ones you can flip over, or you want it narrow or wide. Those are my favorite. But, um, so yeah, we'll go here. Oh, this is in my way. I'm going to turn around. That's going to be easier. <laughs> Some nice blooper reel stuff. So, you know, when you're doing for your triceps, um, you can really keep your elbows in more. You know, nice, nice and tucked in. Um, that helps keep more on the triceps. Same kind of thing. Come to 90, push back up. The dips, you can kind of change them up a bit to get more chest or get more tricep in it. So, to get your chest engaged kind of go with the wider grip. Some of them will have ones that kind of flip over for narrow wide. So, yeah, get the, nice, get the nice wide grip for the chest. It um, doesn't have to be too wide, but just not too narrow. So when you do it, to get your chest engaged, get a little bit forward lean there. It doesn't have to be like all the way forward, but get, get kind of into it a bit. Get, get some, some gangster lean. It also helps if your gym is chains. You can wear chains around your neck and it helps put you forward automatically. So yeah, when you when you lean forward a bit and get wider, you can get more chest tension. And I'm gonna do this. I'm uh, really feeling it in my lower chest and um, definitely some of my outer chest too. <laughs> and so yeah, with triceps, get it closer. Once again, if you have the thing to flip it in, get the narrow grip. Get back here. Stay a little upright. Uh, this is kind of in the way. But, so you know. If you want to put your legs out in front of you, that can keep you going upright too. It's kind of, it's kind of tough with this in the way to stay at a certain angle. But, try to stay more upright. Getting a closer grip, that'll get more triceps. Getting a little forward lean, getting a bit wider, that'll get more chest. Pull-ups are one of my staples. I do it almost every back day. A lot of the dips sometimes I'll weight to it, but making sure you have the pull-up form right is super important. So I'll start with the wider grip. If I'm starting from a dead hang, you know, it's all the way down. Look at that back. Damn, boy. So, see what I'm doing. I'm not, I'm not using my momentum. I'm not swinging around. No kips in here. Yeah. Um, we do real pull-ups. No. It's it's a far across dude, but if you're trying to you know build a wide back, kipping's not going to help you. So, 
but I'm doing it keeping the form, keeping yourself kind of, you know, you might get a little tilt um, just naturally, but kind of keeping yourself, you know, straight upright, that really engages the core. So this is where the gym got really loud, so I decided to do a voiceover here so you could hear it better since this part is pretty important. When you start it, you want to retract your scapula, kind of pull your shoulders back a bit. Doing that helps get the lats engaged. You flex your lats and retract your scapula, and then you pull yourself up. So here I'm exaggerating a lot to show you know how to do it and the importance of it. But when you're actually doing it, it's a lot more fluid. So that's the important part when you're starting from a dead hang. Even if you don't go all the way like hanging down, you come back to that point of when you retracted your scapula. So I'm describing here, you wanna like kind of pull the bar into you, use your elbows as levers, thinking about pulling through your elbows as opposed to pulling through your hands, and that'll really help you engage the last of the move. The proper is, you know, getting your chin to a bar, you know, your pull up, chin up. If, uh, depending on your level of flexibility, um, you know, how um, experienced you are with it, the exact level of top may change, but the point is, get to where you get that contraction, you know, get your elbows in, you squeeze, really squeeze the tricep against the lat, get that muscle contraction. The muscle contraction is the important part. So alternatively, you can use a different grip. So this is a typical, you know, pull-up grip. When you do this with your uh, hands facing the propanate or pro whatever it's called, some propane in your hands. Don't ask me. This grip where your palms are facing you, this is a chin-up. Um, I like doing neutral grips a lot too. If, um, if you experience wrist pain with anything, this is easiest on your wrist, too. So, same general thing. You can get a little further up with these um, just because of how you position. If you, do, if you do your neutral grips or your supinated grips, too, it also targets your biceps more. Yeah. And if you do a neutral grip, it's actually a really great way to hit your rhomboids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so normal pull-up grip gets a lot of your back in it. Chin up will get more biceps. Yeah, I like doing the neutral grip. I feel like you can get a, a really deep contraction that way. It feels like it's getting really deep into the muscles there for me. So, and same thing. You want to kind of pull, pull the scapula back, get your last engaged. So, if you're doing your neutral grip, you're still going to want to do your dead hang, but the area that you're pulling with first is you retract your scapula, and right now I can poke his rhomboids and they're super tight. So that's why it's, it's, that's why neutral grip hits your rhomboids a little bit better because that's the first thing you end up squeezing. So you squeeze, and then you pull up, up and up and up, and look how tight everything is. His rear delts, his rhomboids are not tight, his rear delt here, even his traps. And his abs. You're not gonna, when you do your neutral grip, put your arms up. You're not gonna hit as much down here. That's what the wide grip is for. Um, so, you know, it's smart, you know, put all three of the different pull-ups into your routine. Yeah, midway through, you can kind of see some of the spots from my back. Yeah. Okay. You know, you can feel it more up here with the neutral grip. And then here, I'll show from the back. When you go wider grip, you see more of the So right here, when it goes wide grip, go down. So, Nothing is engaged and he retracts. And now his lats are more his lats are more engaged than anything and he starts to pull. Not as tight in here as with the neutral oh shoot. Wait, control the camera. <laughs> do you want do you want do you want me to do some? Because I'm more shredded than you are and you can see my muscles better. Yeah. Because because I'm I'm cut. Because I'm sharper than razors. <laughs> yeah, my hands are yeah, tight. <laughs> and holding those pull-ups is tough there. Hey Walden Sports fam, if you liked what you just watched, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share this with everyone you know. Your grandma, your auntie, your mom, your sister, your dog. Make sure everyone is on board for all the awesome content we've got coming up. And go check NuclearWSN.com for more.